Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. And all these little thingies are all set up now. This one, but we're still gonna make it quickly. Yeah. Today is June 10th. It is a special day. Because tomorrow marks the actual start of the first episode of newspaper one year right that's tomorrow but there's still a little kind of kinks in it so i have to un <laughs> unroll it this way soft unroll but there's a lot of stuff happening in the newspaper there's a partial ring of fire eclipse of the sun earlier today in the north in um ontario and kind of like where that oak island stuff is Shut up. All right, man, drop your weapon. Quiet, I say. And um, Arizona's on fire, and I got more this and that and stuff, and what's the Russian sub doing? Oh my gosh, we're, we're still being spied upon. Stop. There's this truck driver. Uh, that's a truck driver, by the way. Apparently, there's a truck driver that's a truck driver. That's what we know from the Russian sub. That's how we spy on them. We use the ghost box. It also doubles as a ghost box. You doubt me, don't you? I don't think this works. Dear love, by the word of truth, by the power of God. See? By the power of God. Can't go wrong. So, let's just get at it, why don't we? This is... Don't you know? News Paper! Yes, this is where we look at the newspaper, and here it is right here. The first thing we're going to do is add another light, because, I don't know, obviously cameras don't see like humans see, and so you don't... I like the darker mode, i tell you what, honestly. Anyways, the headlines, what's on the inside, is pretty good but shows you what's on the outside first. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I'm gonna use there as a headline. But obviously what this is, is what Okay, it sounds like that. What that? I'm gonna tell you something bad about that. That that that. This is it. Okay, grand jury, which is like they just convened the biggest thing because there was the biggest outrage because it's a police shooting, and we look at it at face value. Police shoot unarmed 16-year-old boy. That sounds really bad, but you gotta take this in context. Because this was like high speed chase, car involved, and other kind of things. There's a group of people out there saying this is all kind of crazy stuff. And you never want to mess with the police after high speed chasing, because that's already life and death scenario in the high speed chase. Anyways, <clears throat> I'll stop there. And this is some type of blast off. T you students learn second place in the National Rocketry Competition in the Mojave Desert. Blast off! I mean, go, let's go, Bose! <laughs> Remember those rockets you used to get? You just get them a little wire and like the thing. It's, <laughs> it's supposed to have a parachute, but you wind up trying to find it on somebody's roof and it never deployed. Back in the day, 1982. Oh, that's a long time ago. Dinosaurs were the earth, huh? Okay, the kids meow, meow, meow. <laughs> this is like Mother's Rice's preschool. Trick or treaters, okay, this like lady who's like the teacher's aide, uh, Dora, teacher's aide, she took the little trick or treaters, 200 preschoolers down to the businesses in Moeli. <gasps> All the businesses had these little girls come up and they had the little kitty cats because they're the, they're the, what do they call it? They're the kitty cats. 200 kitty cats going, give me candy. You don't have candy for me? Where goes 200 kitty cats? You're doomed if <laughs> you're a business guy. 
Nigga, that business. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna say this right off the bat because I see this. What a preview of the rail. Look, that's what the rail car looks like. Let's go, Bose. <laughs> Everything has the rainbow. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, and uh, moving on. Continuing on, Joe Biden, you know, Joe Biden's in the UK meeting with Boris um, Johnson. I don't know, so many Borises in the there's so many Boris's in the, in Europe. The Boris, the guy with the, the looks, looks like, uh, what's that guy? Um, the Hollywood actor. I can't think of his name right now. Is this a scruffy hair? Like, yeah, um, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, they took a walk on the beach and everything so far. <laughs> we need strong allies. Uh, hi. Yep. After everything was weakened, I think Obama went around going, Look, we're so sorry about our Republican, you know, you know, it was Bush and then Obama went around like that. And then they complained about Obama apologizing to all the countries like he was being subservient. He's making connections. It's called diplomacy. You know what diplomacy is? You know what ultimate diplomacy? You're in the right, they're in the wrong, but you're in the right, but you're going like, I'm sorry, it's my fault. Because you can move on instead of being stuck. That's like... Pretty wicked to blow this kind of options after after oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh god there's winds and uh thing uh australia's getting blown down it's like it's tearing apart the world the very seams of the fabric of space and time we're coming apart i think it's global oh, climate change stuff <laughs> Everyone's doing crappy stuff to each other, and then climate change is happening at the same time. It feels like the oh my god, it's the end. And um, so uh, Russia cracks down at this guy. Who cares? Right now, we're not much thank God for right now. Um, and in China, they're gonna tear down this building. I don't know about that, man. It looks like a, some type of kid's toy. Uh, it reminds me of something plasticky. I can't put my finger in it. Not the Lego thingy, but something. Uh, get her. it has some reminds me of some plastic Sudoku. some plastic toy don't tear it down this guy local guy he's on the spelling bee uh, oh here we go the big Q has a big A and we're gonna read it what do you think about Oahu's median price for a single-family home nearing 1 million Blah. 1 million dollar 67 percent bad housing costs rising overall pretty much 21% mixed pros and cons. Is <laughs> you still in your house or something? Or are you a real estate? Realtor, get the kind. Commission, big box, eh? Good, value of my house area increasing. Yeah, you pay more um, it's property taxes. One time over here, right? You know, this famous guy. Well, he wasn't quite that famous yet. He was in some movies and then he moved in next door. And it was like, oh, look, oh boy, this famous. In the TV show, I'm not gonna mention it. And the TV show started rocketing in fame over here, right? It's after Hawaii Five-O, the original. And, and then the guy was like, you know, hey, making, sucking it up and having like fame, right? New, new famous guy. And um, uh, he rebuilt the old Colonel Schroer's, Colonel Schroer's house. You know, the little Colonel with a little poodle that you'd pinch your gut and say, ow, man, what the hell's that? And he had this little trained poodles and stuff like that. It was crazy. No, he was a good guy. Um, but they rebuilt his house into this like neat thing, same floor plan, and he moved in. Tourist buses would call me, hey, what a famous guy. Bumasuna, I don't know about this, there's like nothing much in here. Except the oh, Carissa. Carissa, four time or three time. Woman's pipe, last December, four time. Carissa Moore, she says, day surfing. Hey, Carissa. Do you still hear the screaming of the reef critters? <laughs> and um, anyways, the, his home, the guy next door, back to that story. Oh, back from the tangent, right? So back to the future, back from the tangent. Bum, 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 back from the tangent. Boop, boop, boop. His house became very valuable and expensive. Therefore, all the other houses are in the surrounding area come up in value for no reason whatsoever except his house is expensive and then you pay more taxes fun political cartoon 
Hey, Jeff Bezos goes flying to space, eh? He's gonna deliver your Amazon package. They should put one on that time, a little drone on Mark. A little hel helicopter, sorry. <laughs> All the drones I know were like little helicopter things. Oh my gosh, quickly. <clears throat> we, we have a bit little time and I don't know where it is. It's just ready to surprise me at will, isn't it? It's a crazy thing, I don't even know where it went. Think not. Continue. Okay. Letters to the editor. Let's go. Native views of tourism go back years, many years, way back there, 1800s, long time. Readers of the, uh, readers of the Star Advertiser editorial, ways to better handle tourism in Hawaii, site June 6th. My benefit from knowing that Hawaii residents' sentiment about tourism has moved from positive to increasingly negative starting in 2005. That's way back there. That's just when I started my teaching degree. Second degree, yeah, man. Well, who's next? They say smarts, eh? Just can't add any more after that. <laughs> can't do math, man. But 55% of residents surveyed by the Hawaii Tourism Authority, HDA, said yes to the statement, this island is run for tourists at the expense of local people. Hmm? Yes or no? 55% said yes to that. By 2019, only a, a mere 14 years later, 67% residents said yes. It's run by the tourists for tourists. Other HDA survey questions show a similar pattern growing from positive responses to negative starting about the same time. In 2006, 46% said yes to the question, does tourism better your overall quality of life? It, <clears throat> compared to 59% the prior year, I don't see how tourism improves the quality of your life unless you own one of those small time businesses that go for tourism. And a lot of it, they, they canned agriculture, you know, pineapple, sugar cane, macadamia nuts. And there's still some of that stuff, but the big ones, sugar cane, pineapple, they canned it. And they put all the emphasis state on tourism, all the eggs in one basket because Japan had big economy and then Japan's economy went down and they were like, uh -oh. uh, so in 2007, 45% said yes to the question, how tourism was it positively in value? For those 60 percent said yes. This is like senseless and useless. This is like, this is what I mean by statistics. Barely, and you're saying stuff about people's sentiment. And barely, Representative Bernard Kobayashi, District 19, Diamond Head Kahala, Kamaki, Kapu, that's area. Oops. I don't like your, I don't care. <laughs> It doesn't benefit everybody, tourism. That's the thing. The state's emphasis is on it. They should ask questions about how do you feel about the state emphasizing only tourism, about, you know, fixing things. Don't vote for me. I'm not. <laughs> we'll vaccinate. <laughs> Just like and subscribe. I'm not in trouble. I you know, love you guys. And you subscribe and everything. Watch the channel. I really do appreciate all that stuff. Like, no one knows. Comment. What can I do better? She, I'm going to be changing up soon, so. Uh, will vaccinated continue? Uh, will, vac oh. will vaccinated continue to wear masks when we reach the vaccination rate of seventy percent and all restrictions are lifted? What will the people have? Will people who have not received the vaccinations do? Will they will they continue to wear masks and keep social distancing and not attend family and social gatherings? These are non-vaccinated people. What are they going to do? Eh? I'm, I know I'm all ready to go back to my normal lifestyle. And people who have been vaccinated coming down with COVID-19... Uh, ah, it was a question, I'm sorry! Don't tease me, bro. <laughs> tease me? Don't tease me. Uh, will they continue to wear masks and keep on? I know I'm ready to go back to my normal lifestyle. So are people who have been vaccinated coming down with COVID-19? I think there's rare things, you know? It's like, I'm Pfizer fully, and that's 90%. So, it's possible. If they are not, it should show the vaccines work. And not everyone should get their shots now and not wait. Ernie, Itoga, Wiley, Iki. 
stinks. And we should give shots to the foreign tourists coming over here, big stuff from Japan, international travelers, <laughs> inter island. So the tour, they come over here with all that stuff, right? And they, they jump the hoops and then they can't go to the neighbor island so easy because each island is another county and it's two by their own rules. We're not standardized island to island. Women who have rights to the control their own bodies. According to philosophers Aristotle and Immanuel Kant, oh my god, I had to study this stuff. Morality is based on free will and freedom of choice. And for Immanuel Kant, it's for the greater good and goes on to what is good. Never mind. Does the chair exist? Go kick it! If your foot hurts, the chair exists. Damn it, don't waste my time with this philosophy stupidness. Members of the U.S. Supreme Court made the determination that abortion is legal. Whether it is moral or immoral is a woman's personal decision according to their own beliefs. Unless a woman allows a man to be involved in the decision process, a man has no rights or control over the process. Now, uh, one thing here is missing. The guy has to bang, bang, boom, boom. Is that the new word, boom, boom? The guy has to boom boom the girl in order for pregnancy to happen. So you can't just never mind. Let's continue. <clears throat> Roe versus Wade. Now there you go. Allows woman freedom of choice and exercise of free will. If the woman's fundamental right to determine what she can do with her body, both legally and morally. So it's uh, free will and choice with her body, but then you got to factor in the body of the, I don't know, the zygote inside, whatever the squirming little thingy is that starts dividing and growing. The fetus. <laughs> it's a body, isn't it? Does it have rights? You have to decide that's <clears throat> machismo attitudes. Oh, continue to negate a woman's equal footing in society. Parenthetical legal isn't the same as morality rights. Star advertiser, June 8th, citation and parenthetical. Remember, if men gave birth, there would be no debate about abortion. Wow! Julie Toussaint Liliha. Uh, Julie, we appreciate your opinion on all this, and machismo aside, I don't think it's about that. Roe versus Wade, a woman's right. Uh, to free choice, pro-choice for abortion. Yeah, it's considered morally wrong by people like well, Roman Catholic Church, especially and churches in general. They go, "Those should have killed Jesus said so." Um, but morally wrong and legally, so it's a legal precedent, and women can get abortions. And there's all kinds of situations where they definitely should, you know, probably get an abortion, but it's not morally right. However, this really ain't about the moral question. Immanuel Kant, because Immanuel can. <laughs> Stop it. What this Roe versus Wade is about, the Republicans control the amendments to the Constitution. That's what this is about. See, they're the party of power and let's get control America and make it the way we want it and how we profess it at the time. So we have President Roe versus Wade, and they just want to freaking overthrow that because they want the voting block of the moral right to vote for them. And then it's bye-bye cookies because he has suppression votes, the moral right behind them, because they're going to vote, well, who, which party is pro-abortion? I'm not going to vote for them. And that's how dum-dums get elected. Sorry, I digress, but look at science. Reparations won't teach hard lessons in history. Regarding reparations, that's where they pay back something. No matter how you color it, history doesn't change. You can't change the spin, look from a different perspective, but it doesn't change. You can change the spin, but you can't change the actual history. Amen. <clears throat> so be it. It is thus. It is true. Recently... <clears throat> By the way, you know when Jesus says, verily, verily, I say unto you, verily, verily, he's being, it's true, it's true, it's absolutely true. That's the meaning of verily, verily. Since I said a man, I thought I'd toss that in for a little history. 
Recently, a mass grave was discovered in Canada filled with the remains of the First Nations children who had been taken away from their homes. History shows that there is at least 311 massacres in Australia and New Zealand between 1780 and 1930. Literally millions of deaths, black and white, were recorded over the last 240 years in Africa. That doesn't even count the intertribal battles. Hundreds of child graves have been found at Irish homes for unwed mothers. We've not even touched upon the Soviets, the Chinese, the Central Europeans, the Ottoman Empire, or Southern South American unfound graveyards. No race, religion, or tribe is free from stain. Reparations are not about learning, they're about punishment for something we had no control over. History can teach. It is up for it is up to each of us to control our own history and what it teaches those who follow James Pritchett Mo Ely Ely. And yeah, I'll contradict what you say too. I agree with you generally, but these like it's up for us. Yeah, control your own history, make your own choices to for sure. But what goes around around you is not really in control just because you make the right moral choices doesn't mean the same is going to go around for round 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 and round okay but who gets the t-rex only or what and i started i digress what do you think you are you think you know something you can't like profess or do into the any of the teaching modes because people don't like me what do i know nothing i don't know anything you think you know what you do you have bad experience in school or something Learn. Either either learn outside or learn by your own experience. Never mind. I'm definitely gonna give it to Julie. What a men know. Until they give birth. What a they know. Machismo. Side. Anyways, that's it. And it's Thursday, so have a wonderful Thursday. And um, wish President Joe Cool luck with Boris. <laughs> Boris, he's kind of crazy, ain't he? The UK Prime Minister. Uh, hey, Luz. Hey, go on. <laughs> Oh,